My name is Daryl Wine. I'm a physician assistant, not a doctor, but I did provide almost all of Ajay's medical care uh, while he was at the Jamestown prison. Unlike many of you here, I have never known Ajay other than as a prison inmate. When I first met him, uh, our first visit was kind of a, a mystery because I was not the assigned provider for him but somehow he landed on my schedule and uh, we both actually felt quite blessed as a result. That first visit, when I first saw Ajay, I immediately knew something wasn't quite right. He didn't look like any inmates I had ever met before. He had no tattoos, no special hairdos. He was very soft-spoken and obviously very well educated. Uh, without stopping and thinking, I glanced down at my schedule of patients for the day to see when his parole date was and discovered that he was a lifer, as we say. And I looked at him and I said, Mr. Dev, are you really in prison for life? And in medicine, we don't normally talk about things like that. But he leaned over and said, Mr. Wine, may I ask one special favor of you? And I said, certainly. He said, would you please go to this website? And he spelled out advocatesforajay.com. That's why I certainly would. And then we went about our uh, clinic visit. On that following weekend, I did go to the website and ended up spending many, many hours, much to the chagrin of my wife and dog, and literally read everything that was posted on the website. Uh, it was so compelling, the story was so compelling to me that I did pass it on to nearly everyone uh, on my contact list. And then I started talking about it with my co-workers, most of which were medical people. Some scoffed, uh, some did go to the website and read all about him. I remember one particular person, a uh, prison guard, a correctional officer, that uh, tended to follow me around the clinics. He liked to watch the surgical procedures that I did. And he was teasing me one day about this story. He says, you know all inmates are liars. You should know that by now. I said, well, I don't really believe that. And in this case, in particular, I think there's something unusual. So he said, well, I'm gonna go pull his C file. Now, C file is separate from the medical file. It has the criminal history. He says, I'm gonna pull the C file and I'll prove to you that this guy really is a criminal. He came back about an hour later and he said, uh, well, Daryl, that's the cleanest C file I've ever seen. You may actually be right there. So how do I actually know that Ajay is innocent? In all truth, only Almighty God, Ajay himself, and his accuser know all the details of this case. I happen to have a special arrangement with my God, as do millions of other people, whereby he plants an ugly little pain in the pit of my stomach when I'm about to make a wrong diagnosis in my work or when I'm about to pursue or uh, pass on information that isn't absolutely true and accurate. Not, one have I, not once have I felt that feeling since the day I met Ajay, Ajay until this very moment in time. That's how I'm so absolutely convinced that he's an innocent man. Let's get him back to Peggy and the boys. Thank you.